You know, the city of Memphis has already implemented its cold weather plan, and so have state highway officials. Local 24 News reporter Brittany Muncrease got the inside scoop, and she joins us live in North Memphis with what's being done. Brittany, break it all down for us. Well, Katina, right now we're outside the Lewis Senior Center, and it's just one of three warming centers put in place to help people escape those cold temperatures. Now, it's not just the city that has a plan, but the entire Mid-South. Now we're in defense mode. With rain and freezing temperatures, the Mid-South is on standby. Starting with the roads. All of our trucks are, are loaded and really just waiting for the temperature to fall. Danny Strasley is the spokesman for Arkansas Department of Transportation. They, along with Tennessee DOT, started patrolling Monday afternoon. The big concerns are bridges and overpasses. There's just nothing to keep it warm and it's just out there bare and exposed. But the rain complicates things a little. Crews won't be able to pre-treat. We can't pre-treat with salt brine, so uh, that would just wash away in the rain. So what we'll do is, is have our rock salt trucks out there and just use our, our real time and approach. While state officials' eyes are on the roads, there's also careful eyes on people looking for a place to stay warm. Memphis has warming centers in place. This Salvation Army room will be transformed for sleeping. We open up at least tw 25 emergency beds here at the Purdue Center of Hope so that families, primarily women and children, can come and get the help that they need. A warm shelter, hot meal, as long as the weather stays below freezing, these doors will stay open. And Memphis Union Mission will also be open overnight for people who need to go there. And uh, remember that if you have to be out in this type of weather, weather and you have to hit the roads, be cautious and take your time. Live in North Memphis, Brittany Moncrease, Local 24 News. Okay, Brittany, thank you for that.